Right, so that is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising. Uh, monthly general tarot reading, April 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And uh, also on another, on another note, I have started my uh, tarot classes. So if you like the way I read and you want to learn how to read that way, um, give me an inquiry on my Facebook page, which link can be found as well into the description down below. And uh, my assistant is going to take you from there. So that being said, moving to the um, general spread for the month for you uh, Virgo the first one which is the topic of your month here is going to be the eight of cups moving next we do have the general <clears throat> energies which are feeling and supporting the topic here that will be the lovers card moving next we have uh, the challenges that you need to stand against and overcome hopefully that is to be the magician card furthermore it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can and should enjoy throughout the month itself that will be the, the world card Afterwards, what we do have, it is the impression of those that are surrounding you. So people that are around you, what kind of impression you're going to make to them to, throughout the month of April. That will be the Five of Swords. Next, we have uh, the thing that will help you to further your goal, uh, general goal that is, that will be the Page of Pentacles. Afterward, it is what will hurt your long-term goal. That will be the strength card. And the last one that we do have, it is the guidance that Taro is offering. We have the two of pentacles for you. Okay, so those cards, once again, uh, those eight cards, once again, first one it is the eight of cups, uh, followed by the lover's card. Moving next, we have the magician. Afterwards, is going to be the world card. Then it is the five of swords. Afterwards, it is the Page of Pentacles. Then it is uh, the Strength card. And the last one, it is the Two of Pentacles. So those eight cards. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, first couple of cards here, the energies and the topic itself. So the energies are pointing that uh, throughout the month of April, uh, your uh, personal standing in general, in terms of career or relationship is going to dramatically improve. Why? Well, it is because it will seem like you are not going to have that usual trouble to just leave things behind. You know, things are not working out for you. Well, big deal. So you're going to leave it behind. Moving to the next stage, that is going to prove itself more productive for you. Therefore, the decisions that you will have to make, should I do it or not? And uh, should I stay with this person, for example, or should I not stay with them? Uh, should I do this thing at my career or should I not? Uh, is going are going to be very, very easy for you to do or to take, that is, because it looks like that you will instantly going to be able to identify is this thing worth it or is it not worth it very similar to the leo reading in case you are cross watching leo but for you it's going to be much easier to leave things behind than with leo that is going to be not to mention here that you alone are going to understand that leaving such things behind that are not exactly contributing for your well-being are going to severely relieve you from certain predicaments that you are facing up until this point, you know, so you had that predicament and you could not resolve it up until this, this point. And in the month of April, you kind of like find out that that predicament it is because you could you haven't left behind a certain endeavor, certain enterprise or a, a certain person as well. And even if you have to leave a certain person behind, it's not going to be someone severe, someone that you are clinging into uh, for a, quite a while, someone that you hold there to your to your heart. It most it, it's it's mostly a people that does not have a place around you or people that are completely insignificant to you but nonetheless they have resided into your environment up until this point and now it's you know it, it just becomes way too much i mean they take the cake and you have to pretty much kind of like restrict your contacts uh with them 
So uh, month of April, once again, significant improvement, guys, career-wise, relationship-wise as well. Um, many, uh, especially with those energies, many uh, kind of like uh, worries that you do have, things that you need to address that are kind of bothersome for you, are to be quite easy for you to overcome if you have to overcome it at all. You, you have to overcome them at all because they most of them are going to sort themselves literally on their own accords. Those energies as well with, that, with this presented situation, are going to make you more open for a new contact, new relationships as well, especially if current contacts and relationships are not fulfilling your expectations. You are feeling that it's kind of like they're not enough for you. Months of April will pro provoke you, not just only provoke you, but also it's going to give you the prerequisites to create new relationships, to jump into new projects, and in general to uh, kind of like flirt with new people as well. So it will be a, a month of a drastic improvement in, in all aspects of your life in general. Uh, but what will be the challenge that you need to stand against now? That will be the challenge of the magician. And the magician, uh, it kind of points to few things. Now, first of the challenges, it is, um, how do I translate it? Um, it's like while you kind of like allow something to become a part of your life, also not allowing yourself to become way too dependent of that thing, you know? So say you start a new relationship, well, or, or you start dating someone, you should not allow or you, yourself to become way too dependent of that person while simultaneously maintaining you know such presented a stage of dating and trying to improve on it so it's it, it's like making yourself uh with a contingency plan if you will the other thing about the magician which is uh, as a challenge is to show determination it's like whatever you want to do uh, or whatever you are doing that you need to show that you want to do it, that that thing means something for you and you're not making it just for the hell of it, you know, or just for the shades and giggles uh, here. So it's kind of like uh, the, seriousness, the seriousness that other needs to see in you in regards to the new projects that your boss is assigning or in regards to the new suitors of yours uh, needs to show, uh, you need to show a seriousness and you need to show determination into them. And another thing that is going to be challenging for you to do here is to get your points across. You know, when you try to explain yourself in front of certain people, you may kind of struggle to make them understand where you are coming from. And that could be another reason why you should leave certain people behind. It is because, you know, they simply are not in the same page with you uh, here. But on a more profound level, guys, you are going to struggle finding those who are to accept you for what you truly are. Okay, so that will be one hell of a challenge here throughout this uh, particular month. And um, the advice from the magician, it is uh, simply those who does not accept you for what you truly are, simply doesn't have a place in, uh, in your life. And that makes the decision that you need to make here throughout the month, what I, what I want to do and what I have to do, a much more easier to make. Uh, next one, it will be in regards to the gifts and the blessings that the month is going to present you. And the world is another testament here that one thing ends and other things start. So uh, what the gifts and the blessing here is that even if you have to leave things behind, much brighter perspectives are awaiting you further down the road into the future. Because this is what the world is all about. You know, you reach your peak of experience which is in some cases here throughout the month of April, uh, identifying that things are not working out the way you want them to work out or that are going to benefit you a lot. And, um, you know, that is the culmination of the situation, the, the very peak of experience. So then the experience ends and it gets replaced with a new experience. So the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy is constant flow of endeavors, enterprises, um, I, and as well, an ability to finalize, okay, ability, ability to reach to its very end. So whatever manifests for you throughout the week, uh, throughout the month, excuse me, you should be certain that that thing can go as, as 
far as it can i mean as uh, up until its a very end so if you start a year relationship throughout the month of april well then that relationship has serious potential to become a marriage you know to make a family with this person uh, so it can go as far as it can you know family kids children uh, and etc etc same thing in terms of job if you start a job uh, throughout the month of april you do have the potential to work there for the rest of your life therefore to get a pension now moving next we have what kind of impression people are going to have into you uh, that is the five of swords so people are going to see you very reckless and as well a person who does not care about the circumstances of what kind of an actions they are making like said you have to make uh, some decisions to leave things and people behind so therefore those people are going to see you cruel and not just only those people oops all the cards fell down anyway i'm gonna collect them after not all the people not just only these people that you need to leave behind guys but also everybody that is related to these people are gonna see you quite cruel uh but in that particular case they don't have a right to judge you because at the end of the day everybody first and foremost looks for their own personal well-being and here or what is in stake is either they're going to be well or you are going to be well so at the end of the day if these people are insignificant to you of course that you are going to decide in favor of yourself but that won't that doesn't necessarily have to be true if you have to decide for your for example husband okay or for your wife you may decide that you are going to struggle and they are going to be well it's all up to you but for the rest of the world and in the majority of the people they will see you cruel and that you make use you took you took advantage of certain individuals and of certain situations but who doesn't okay so uh, my point here is that you should not feel guilty for that you tried to make yourself better and to improve your circumstances you know and that you are trying to do so and in general that you are striving for a happiness so what is going to help you further your goal now we do have an individual here virgo that is page of pentacles and these people that individual itself is very devoted to your idea so you kind of like leave people leave things and people behind you jump into new perspectives here because this is what the cards were showing with the world and the eight of cups and that person supports you in everything i mean they are all devoted to those new enterprises and those new situations in general that uh, that you decide to jump into and that is someone who is to be a, a very faithful not just only companion but as well supportive to you now what kind of a role that person is going to play for you well they will be able to identify what works it and what it doesn't work it so that i think that this is either the very best friend of yours you know or your father or your mother or your wife or a husband which you, which whom excuse me you share what your idea is and they say you know what that's that that looks really splendid i mean it's it, it's remarkable so you definitely should give it a go and uh, you should listen to the advice of these people because once again they are uh, capable to identify um, uh, what's uh, the true value of things around uh, next one it is what is going to hurt your long-term goal here that is the strength card so uh, believe it or not and it's kind of baffling that we do have this card here it kind of points that um, the ignorance of mm, of the potential the ignorance of the potential of a the uh, future situations it's what's going to hurt your long-term goal which under long-term goal i mean successfulness into career and success into career excuse me and as well happiness into relationship these are the major long-term goal of ours and this is what is going to uh, hurt them i mean being stubborn of not willing to give an, an expression into something that actually holds potential and what that potential and who is going to reveal that potential for you well the page of pentacles here the faithful companion or um yeah or a, a very best friend that you do have around another thing about the strength card it is a, an enthusiasm you may you may have that tendency to jump straight away into action and give the best you got in it everything you got in it straight away from the very initiation of the enterprise and that and at least throughout the month of april that kind of puts a minus upon you uh, of a burning out it's like 
you are jumping with enthusiasm for the first couple of weeks and then you feel like you have no energy to move forward with so it's important here to um put the right measures and the right uh, passion into the endeavors that are laying in front of you and the last one it is the guidance that tarot is offering to you virgo we do have the two of pentacles here guys so that card itself as well points that there are to be a lot of surprises that you will have to endure and under endure i mean to live through throughout the months of uh, april and every single one of it Alert, worth exploring just so you can find out which one is worth worth your attention and which one doesn't that includes as well the current surprises and enterprises that you are going under so i do believe that that month of april is going to be a month where you seriously are going to make uh, uh, you are going to draw a line make a retrospection of all that you got of everything that you are going through and reshuffle there in according to what worth your time and what worth your while against what it doesn't and at the end of the month of April, you are going to find yourself with less things to do, with less, how can I say it, less, less a issues to resolve. But everything that you decided to keep around will definitely worth your time and your emotions, your money, etc, etc. So that being said, this was your monthly general tarot reading Virgo for a month of April 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And uh, within 24 hours of the moment of purchase, depending on what kind of a service you have purchased, I will contact you explaining you how your reading is going to take place. And as well, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to sign up for my classes, you can do so by going into my Facebook page, which is also listed into the description down below and giving me an inquiry there. Uh, so stay safe now and uh, see you around. Until then, bye.